beard is not helping. It's not helping, guys. I was expecting it to do something, but it is not working. Good morning. It's a great day to be alive. If you guys are watching this right now, that means that you're alive. Be thankful for that. Life is a gift. Don't ever take it for granted. So, leg arms is still gone. He's not here yet. Uh, he's been off on a little trip for a while. He will be back. Don't worry. We will get the leg arms back on the farm. I might have pushed it a little far with the leg arms jokes. And guys, don't worry. I'm going to pull it back a little bit. But it was all a joke. The whole firing leg arms thing, guys, is a joke for those that might have taken it seriously and thought we were being serious about firing leg arms. The whole inside joke is he is so valuable to our farm that he would be the last person to fire. I would be probably the first. So that's why I'm always the one pretending to fire leg arms because really I'm probably the one that should be like go first if anybody on this farm. He keeps this farm going. So we really want leg arms back. He's coming back. Don't worry guys, he's had a great trip. He's had a lot of fun. He's been able to go to some cool places, meet some cool people and I'm excited for him. But I got a lot of work to do today. Since leg arms has been gone, I've been trying to fill his place to the best of my ability. And though I am not nearly capable of doing that, I do have a decent, decent little bit of growth coming in on here. See that? So I'll keep that until he comes back, but I got a big day ahead of me. I have just a lot of different projects that just are kind of getting pushed aside that just need done. And I decided today is the day I'm gonna tackle all those different things. So be expected for a lot of random stuff to happen during this video, but I'm gonna try to get it all done today. And I think I can. By the way, there's those tarps from the grain piles. Yeah, we didn't do a very good job folding them up. <laughs> I think it came about a third of the size of those two combined. So, all right, let's go to work. First up, I gotta get new tires on my Suburban. These things are about worn down to nothing. And well, there's a lot of driving gonna be happening this fall because I'm having a baby and we're gonna be making lots of trips and I don't want bald tires as I'm rushing to go to the hospital to have a baby. So. I gotta get tires. They're already ordered. They're in town at Mark's Tire, a local tire dealership. I'm gonna go get those, put those on there. I'm also gonna stop by the airport, pick up some 100 low lead gas for all of our small engines. I'm gonna go around the farm, change out the fuel on all of our small engines, make sure they're ready to go for winter. So that's the step where I'm on right now. I say, let's get to it. Let's go get the fumming started. Let's go to town, get those tires. I gotta get a couple tire pressure sensors that are gonna go in these as well. Get those changed, get the fuel changed, and then move on to the next thing, which is a long list ahead of me. <laughs> to get that 100 low lead gas. We really don't have very good gas cans on our farm. They're getting kind of old. We need more. I'm gonna get one for the 100 low lead. So let me stop at a Hardware Hank here and grab some of that and then we'll go get the gas. But fortunately, Hardware Hank is right here and the tire shop is right there. So I just gotta basically back up to the other side to load the tires up. That's convenient being in a small town. Got the tires, got the gas can. Let's go to the airport and get some Av gas. Mighty Lake of Shalul, Shelby, Montana. Back in 64, there were two floods that happened in this valley of Shelby, Montana. It rained, I don't remember exactly how many inches of rain, probably very similar to what the guys back east get in the crazy rainy country. But this land wasn't really used to that kind of rainfall and it flowed down so strong into the valley of Shelby, it flooded Shelby twice, two years in a row. So they got together and they built this big reservoir here and dammed up a lot of the drainage that flows into town and built what's called Lake Shalul. I went swimming in there once and the police told us to get out and don't swim in it. So uh, we don't swim in it anymore, but there is fish in there. It's kind of fun. Nice little spot to go if you want a little picnic outside of Shelby. The funny thing is a lot of this water actually comes from our farmland just up the road a little ways or up the hill. It flows downhill in here. So a lot of the runoff that we have ends up here. I just got to the local airport. This is SBX. Shelby. It's a nice little airport. It's had some work done to it. I do most of my flying out of this airport, but I haven't flown in a couple years. I'm not current at the moment. I don't know. I might get my biennial done and do a little more flying again, but flying is fun if you guys haven't done it. It's a blast. I recommend going and doing some flying in a small aircraft, but this is where I get my fuel. So let's go get some av gas and get back to the farm. Right, let's write 100 low lead. That way people will know what kind of gas is in that thing. I'm planning to hopefully keep this container for entirely high octane gasoline. That's good quality stuff. Let's go around and start putting gas in things. I'm gonna drain floats on a lot of these carburetors that already have old gas in them. Maybe someone might fire up and just turn the fuel off and let them run until they run out of gas. And then top off the tanks with this stuff. Hopefully they're low already. If they're full of the old gas, I might have to drain it out, but we'll see how that goes. Huh, I see the Suburban's gone wife needed it. 
I'll do the tires after we do all this other stuff first. So let's just put that towards the end of the list of things to do. Huh, someone robbed the engine off that thing. All right, well, that's one less engine to worry about. I'll figure where that's at later. Dad probably used it to pump the fish pond out. That's fine, we'll go to the next one, which is right around the corner. Earlier this year, I did a live stream and got this old Minneapolis wing running. It does run really good. It needs a lot of work done to it. Obviously, like a lot of things around here. It's one of those, we're gonna restore it one of these days. I think when my boys get older, but the problem is the gas tank's leaking. It's got a crack in the bottom or it's rusted through. It needs a new fuel tank. So I'm gonna drain the fuel out of the system as much as I can, because I think we still have some old gas in there. Just get it out and then move on to the next thing. Alright, good. Let's go to the next thing. New mower I bought this year. We're just letting the fuel run out of the system. I turned the valve off. It's just gonna run until it runs out of gas. And then I'll top the tank off with some nav gas. Got a couple more of these to do. That took a while. Man, that thing ran for a while without had the gas valve off. It ran for like three minutes on what was just in the carburetor. Alright, let's put gas in it. Okay, that one's ready to go for the winter. I just went inside one of our storage sheds that we have. A lot of the lawnmowers and stuff go. And well, one of those kittens that was in the combine is in here. We allow our cats to come in here. We've got a little heat lamp for them in the winter. Cat food, water, just little spots, place where you don't care if it smells bad in here because cats stink, but they are good for catching mice. We like cats, but he is back here somewhere. There. Does not look like a friendly cat. If we caught it right now and really put some time into that cat, we might be able to tame it. But once they grow up a little wild, it's kind of a lost cause. This is my mom's tractor on the farm. She puts a lot of hours on this bad boy. A lot of acres mowed. There's no fuel cut off on this thing. You can't turn the fuel off to the carburetor. Unless someone took it out and just put a filter in, but I don't see any way to do that. So I'm gonna just unhook the fuel line and drain it into this gas can and then pour that into something else and then just run it till it uh, runs out of gas. Then hook it and drain it, I guess. much gas is in our rotiller. This thing gets used a few times a year. Ah, it's got a lot of gas in it. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take the line off this. I'm gonna drain this directly into that tank too. I'll just pour all this in the four-wheeler because it gets used a lot. It's gonna burn that fuel up quick. Then uh, put some good fuel in these things and stabilize them too. And there's one more lawnmower on the other end too. Finish that out, on to the next project. Dad had some plans, I just got in talking to him. We're gonna move some machinery around, bring our big bud back to the yard. So we still got a lot to do. Okay, all the gas is drained out. Let's uh, start this girl, see if we can finish running out whatever's left in the carb. Yeah, let's try it again. Good, that's what I wanted, right there. I'm gonna hook the fuel line back up, close it, unhook the battery, and that thing's ready to go for the winter. Oh, there, got it done. Those engines are ready for winter. I think I have a couple left to do, but we're getting there. Let's see if I can think of any. And then on to the next project, which uh, moving machinery around. Mute mower hasn't been ran in a while. I really would like to get this thing parked a little somewhere else than here. I can take the battery out of it too. Plus I'd like to get the fuel out of the carburetor on it. Let's see if we can start this thing. I don't know, it's been a, it's been a while since it's ran. Who knows if the battery is good. But the only way to know is turn the key and find out. I think the exhaust is broke. I put that muffler on there a while back when, uh, like a while back, like years ago. But I didn't get the whole concept of uh, everything flexes and if you weld stuff together, it's gonna crack and break off. Well, that's what's happened. But she's running. The slant six, can't kill it. I'm gonna shut the fuel off, let it run out of gas, just like the rest of the stuff I do. Well, I ran out of gas, drained the carburetor, and added a little bit of fuel to the fuel tank so it has some to help with stability. Getting the battery out right now, I'm gonna carry this back to the shop. This is good to go for the winter. I think I only got like one or two engines left to do. We're, we're getting there. While I'm out, I better disconnect the battery on the water truck too. I just don't see us hauling any water anytime soon. So, might as well have it disconnected because if I don't now, I probably will find it dead in the spring. Now with that out of the way, there is the one engine in the shop still, that's the generator that we never ended up using, but it's got gas and it needs taken out and it needs to come out of the shop because it's in the way of the brute and I want the brute out to winterize it, to put stuff in there. Let's take the kids here, we're gonna move some stuff around and uh, clean that uh, clean that engine gas out of there, get it good, put it in this other building, just keep going at this. Some may have questioned, why do we put the Harley bars on the front of that thing? Well, obviously it's so we could hook it on the back of a four-wheeler. It's thought out, we think ahead.
Gas is drained, battery's out. Let's take this generator and put it away. Kind of wish we could have used it, but oh well, we'll get a chance. All right, lunch break. We're gonna drive that out after lunch break. Also, that generator didn't fit in that door. We tried. It was too wide with that fuel tank on the side. There's four bolts plus the fuel line. Take that tank off. It sat outside all these years. And for the time being, we'll just put it outside for now. And then when we get that building cleaned out and get the peas out of there, get the combines in there, whenever the pea market finally recovers from its terrible slump that it's in right now, we'll put it back inside probably in there. But if we get a building built in the next year or two, I'm sure it'll end up in there instead. But it's good to have on the farm at least. Lunch is over, it's time to get this thing out of here. I gotta drop all the water in it, get that out, as well as all the filters and everything else. Winterize this thing so we can park it outside with the other stuff, because we don't want it here all winter long. It's gotta be outside. run a little while the battery was a little weak i gotta disconnect the batteries we never put a disconnect on the batteries which is kind of silly i don't know why we didn't but it needs one it sits for a while the battery drains down so i'll have that battery disconnected but we gotta dump some water on the ground and this is just water there might be a little bit of chemical residue in there but we filled this thing and drained it a couple times during those harvest season because of the fire we fought that's pretty much just water coming out There we go, last little bit coming out. I'll leave it open, I'm gonna drive around a little bit, let it kind of just keep draining. I gotta pull the plug on the pump, take filters off, lift the booms up, take some caps off, just run everything out we can. I can actually pressurize the system in this sprayer too, which does help blow some of that out. We're not gonna have any more fires to fight, so he's done for the for 2019. Just finished dumping all the water out of every hose, every line, every filter, every single thing I could think of that could have water sitting in it. I think we're good. I'm gonna go park this and then move on to the next thing because we've got a few things left on the list to do. I want them done. Okay, disconnected. Good. That is one less thing to run out of batteries during the winter. There we go. Then you just latch these bottoms down here. Good. Moving on. Gotta move this girl. She's been over here for a while. It's hooked up to the plow, the sweep plow. We're gonna park it with long as the other equipment. Okay, let's uh, let's go park all this stuff as well as a bunch of other stuff over this way. All moved. It's nice to have on that side. The thing is, we're gonna be planting that field that those we're sitting in next year, so we'd kinda like to have them all moved before the snow comes. I didn't really wanna do it, but either do it now or you do it in the spring, and in the spring it's gonna be muddy and snowy, and so it's good to get it done now. Dad's right, beards are itchy. I don't know how you guys do it. Man, hopefully it softens up over time, because, whew. Wanna go? All right, ready? I don't know what I fed him. I must have fed him something last night because he seems heavier. I do love this tractor. It's just a really good tractor. There are things though. Every machine has its issues. Steering on this right now is getting binding in a certain spot. It's like the universal joint or something is grabbing. Seems like there's always something. But I love this tractor. It's just a good tractor. I can't wait for the Series 3 to be finished. That one and this one are hopefully gonna do next year's planting. That's gonna be our backup tractor. Pull you out of the mud tractor. Plow in front of the seating tractor. Harrow if you need to tractor. Maybe run the disc if you have to tractor. 
or just look really awesome gangster tractor. It's gonna be a good year next year. I think things are looking good. If you guys don't follow us already, we are on Instagram and I do a lot of stories and daily posts on Instagram, a lot more than I do here on YouTube. So come check us out on Instagram, Facebook as well, but if you really want to see it, Instagram's a place to be. Yeah, I appreciate all you guys uh, looking for leg arms. I think we've located him. I sent him an enhanced check. Uh, I think he got it and I believe he's getting back. So maybe that's all it was is I forgot to write a check. That can happen. But anyway, it'll be good to have him back because uh, uh, the farm kind of slowed down except for that haul and uh, we're waiting for him to get back. Yeah, looking at how things are going, I wasn't really planning on doing the whole move equipment thing over there today. I was actually gonna work on that grain vac, but since that came into play, I think the next step I need to do is my family vehicle needs some new wheels on it. They're down to like 10% if that. They're past the wear marks, it needs done. So I'm gonna go change tires, rotate, fix a couple of air sensors and get this thing safe to drive again. So I pull each tire off, take it over to the pressure washer, wash the inside of the rim out so I can get all the dirt out because I want the tire to be as balanced as I can before I put it through the balancer. I don't want any mud in there, otherwise it's gonna throw off my balancing down the road. Take the old wheel off with the tire changer, which is kind of a bugger with these 20 inch rims. Put the new one on, put it through the tire balancer, balance it, add weights as needed, and then put back on the car. Pretty simple job, but I've already caused a blood blister on this finger, scuffed my hand up, bled all over that last rim, and that last tire took like a long time. The beard is not helping. It's not helping, guys. I was expecting it to do something, but it is not working. Well, I guess, as far as I understand, tire number two is balanced, new tires on. All right, two more to go. Well, unfortunately, I busted two of the tire pressure senders out of the four. I already had two bought to replace two that were having issues on here, but I have broke one before I got the tire that needed replaced. So I'll put this, put this uh, tire change session on hold till tomorrow, I'll run into town, get another one of those tire pressure senders, so that way we'll have correct tire pressure sender in our vehicle when we're running it. But that's okay. I'll get it done. It's uh, getting late tonight. I've been at the shop all day, literally all day. So it's time to go home and uh, get a shower and maybe say goodnight to the kids. But again, guys, thanks for watching. A little different today. I'm looking for leg arms coming back. It's gonna be nice. We got some plans ahead of us that he's gonna be a part of, so it's gonna be good stuff. But uh, hope you guys enjoy the channel and uh, I enjoy uh, reading your guys' comments and messages and thank you for all the support. Take care, guys. God bless.